What would you do if you woke up one morning and you had no electricity, your cell phone didn't work, your car didn't run? What would you think? What would be the first thing that would pop into your head? For me, I would think, well, we have been hit by an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. And this is when a nuke is detonated in the atmosphere and it rains uh, electrons down to Earth. And this takes out the grid, the you know grid that supplies us with our electricity, it takes out the cell phone towers, it takes out the newer cars, cars that were made after 1980. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? How will we communicate? Now, I suppose if you had an, uh, a ham radio or a phone that was hooked up to a landline, you would be okay. But what if you have none of those things? I don't have a landline. I don't have a ham radio. Hopefully, you had food stocked up because... You're not going to be able to use your credit cards. You will use cash for a while till cash has no meaning. Hopefully you live far away from the city so that you <laughs> don't have to endure the chaos that ensues. Because there will be a lot of it. I read a book recently about this and it opened my eyes to a lot of things. It made me think... And this book is obviously fiction, and it's only one version of a reality that could occur. But a lot of things in the book were spot on, I believe. For instance, rioting and looting. Those would occur. People would try to take advantage of those they see as an inferior, and... Uh, the bigger ones would probably win. I mean, just look at the riots that go on in the cities, like Portland and the George Floyd riots. People would even be crazier because they would be fighting for survival. In those cases, people were just grabbing shoes and things. But if we were hit by an EMP, people would go into survival mode. And this book here discusses that. I like this book. I don't have any notes on it. Normally I would write up some notes, but it's a, it's a thick book too. Thicker than some of the ones I'm used to reading. And it's got over 500 pages. But this book is terrifying on some level, especially if you're not prepared. It's terrifying. And, I, and, and I'm not prepared. What would I do if, if we were hit by an EMP? I would scramble to survive, I suppose. I mean, I, I have a lot of water stored up, some food items. I don't rely on my bank account to pay bills and things. But that doesn't really matter. What really matters is having a gun, having food and water. Well... Food and water that can sustain you for a long time, but at the, at the same time, you're going to need to replace what you use. Therefore, it'd be wise to have chickens or a farm of some kind. But even then, under martial law, the government will confiscate your animals, your food, and your car if you have one that was made before 1980. Now, in the book, this John Matherson, he eventually becomes a town leader. He, you know, he, he instructs the military on how to uh, conduct a battle. And they have to battle a posse, they're called. And this posse is, is filled with violent criminals and cannibals as well. They actually eat people. So, these things 
And among other things, I mean, there's a lot of things in the book that happen. You know, people dying. Um, most of the main characters die. There's a lot of death. Uh, these things would happen. And the people on life support, people who are hooked up to machines in order to live, they're not going to make it. They're going to die off. And people who depend on medication in order to live, like the beta blockers and you know the heart medications, they're going to die. And then the rest will be, I guess, the strong, but they'll starve. Like in the book, a lot of people starved. And those who didn't die from starvation had to live on, on food rations. They, they ate very little. You know, it was hardly enough to go around. So that's what we would have to face. And we've been spoiled by technology, you know, face it. A lot of people can't live without their phones and their computers, uh, electricity. What would you do if all that was gone? What would I do if all that was gone? And I don't know. I mean, I, I have lived without electricity before. So I survived it, obviously, but it was tough, <laughs> like medieval times. So I suggest you read this book. I'm not going to tell you a lot about it because I want you to read this book and judge for yourself. Like I say, this book is terrifying on some level. So just be on the lookout for that. It's not a horror novel uh, unless, you, unless you count the dead people and all the violence in the book. But it's not grotesque horror well anyway read this book and get prepared talk to you later bye